okay, so instead of using intense for certain things, it would be better to use an EUS or an evaluate user statement system, which is what I use in most of my projects. So basically, it's very easy. All you have to do is use this prompt. So analyze the following user statement and the conversation history and return only the categorization. Then you use, let's just call it, XML tags, like statement and statement, and you use the particular tags that the, not tags, use the particular variables with the user information that you want. So I use KB question sometimes, I use last utterance, and I use VF memory just so, even if it doesn't exactly pick up on it from what they last said, it can still go back to the memory. So I really recommend using VF memory as well and whatever thing that you store the user statement in. Now for response options, you just say the response options here and then describe them down below and the AI will usually pick up on it as best as it can. So you'd say something like Q&A, that's for when the um, user's asking a question, that's what I use. Lead, so if the user's interested in joining the inner circle, which is the program, the special emails program for this demo I'm working on, browse for products, recommendation for product recommendations, return is to go back and tracking it for product tracking. So, and you don't really need any prompt settings for this, but what I do recommend is for this, you use Cloud3 Haiku, turn your temperature all the way down and put your max hook ends on 100, because if it's only outputting Q&A and this, then it should be taking that much tokens. And I'm gonna test it right now. So if I say I have a question about XYZ, It should output Q&A, just like that. And then what you're gonna wanna do, you're going, gonna wanna make some conditions, cause you're gonna store this into in a variable and you're gonna make conditions and the conditions are gonna lead it to where you wanna go, which you would do the same thing with intents, but it's just better to do it this way. Cause with intents, it can't really pick up on every possible thing the user would say. And it just it's just straining the system too much so that's why I do this. I believe there's a way that you can integrate an AI into Intense, but I haven't learned that yet. That's why I'm doing this for right now. And I think this can be useful because it might use less tokens than I intend to think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. So for this, you put condition, if EOS contains, and then you fill them with the response options that you made here. And then you would lead them to the blocks, the corresponding blocks for each thing. So it's a very simple system. If you're not sure how to do this, just reach out to me in the voice flow Discord or email me. My Discord is like Iziela, I-Z-E-I-L-A dot dev, D-E-V. Or you can just email me, Iziela Gianni at gmail.com. I'll put my email in the description. So just let me know if you need any additional help. Hope that helps.